Kamusta na kayo? Char. Buhay pa ba? Kung interested kayo na maging medtech student katulad ko, just watch this video and I'll, I'm very very sure that you'll learn a lot from me. Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is It's Vida and for today's video, we'll be talking about why choose medtech. So before that, for those who don't know me, I am currently taking a Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Science or Medical Technologies. Second year na po ako. Second year? Second year na po ako. And ayun, malapit na mag third year. So nakakakaba na. Sa so, yun na yung last time na parang nasa loob kami ng classroom if nasa original setting tayo kasi during the fourth year kung hindi nyo pa alam internship na agad Ano nga ba ang medtech? For me, it's very underrated so I would like to raise awareness regarding this profession Kukunin natin yung um, definition niya sa RA5527 or the Philippine Medical Technology Act of 1969 enacted okay, on June 21, 1969. So, as early as now, paki-mark na yun sa calendar nyo. Kunwari, birthday talaga ng isang med... Ng, birthday ng medtech, okay? So, kasi yun yung pinakalo ng medtech. Sabi dito, a person who engages in the work of medical technology under the supervision vision of a pathologist or licensed physician authorized by the Department of Health in places where there is no pathologist and who having passed the prescribed course of training and examination is registered under the provision of this act. So, um, sa narinig naman natin, hindi ko alam kung naintindihan niyo or whatsoever, pero in short, we work under the supervision of a pathologist or yun yung inakahead ng ating laboratories. Kilalang kilala ang medical technologist be bilang tagapag-examine ng uh, dugo, feces, or yung utain natin, and um, urine. So, hindi lang naman yun ang ginagawa ng medical technologist. Yes, we stay in the lab, we examine, we do culture, um, we use most of the time ang microscope. So, dapat marunong tayo talaga mag-microscope, di ba? So, in short, lahat ng fluid, bodily fluid sa ating katawan, katulad ng mga cerebrospinal fluid, tapos synovial fluid, gastric fluids, Pew to first and foremost pala, if you're looking for a high paying salary, medtech is not for you. Kasi alam naman natin lahat or hindi or some hindi pa alam na talagang mababa ang sweldo ng mga medical technologist, okay? So, siguro sa ibang bansa, doble ganon, or mas mataas talaga. And, almost all of the professionals dito sa Pilipinas, underpaid. Imagine mo, same lang naman yung pagod. But, the difference kasi is, um, dito sa Pilipinas, you serve for the Filipinos. Doon naman sa ibang bansa, you serve for other nationalities. Aming kang matututunan about uh, hindi lang sa pag-perform ng examinations and all. How the body works. Yung parang nagme-med school ka na talaga. And syempre, tayo yung nagtetest ng mga bodily fluids, blood, feces, urine sa katawan ng tao. So, we know kung ano yung normal and abnormal na uh, values ng mga ito na may underlying condition or disease yung specific patient na yon kasi hindi normal yung blood count. Why medtech? Kasi, madami siyang clinical laboratories. Given nga na 7 clinical laboratories and may special laboratories pa, hindi ka maboboard talaga. And bawal maboard. Bawal ding tulog. Okay? Well, examine. Then, tayo yung pinaka nagiging susi for the diagnosis and treatment na ibibigay ng doktor sa patient. So, kung mali yung report mo ng results, ano mangyayari dun sa um, diagnosis or treatment na ibibigay ng doktor dun sa pasyente? Patient, medtech, and doktor. So, tayo nasa pagitan. Tayo, tayo yung taga-confirm na tama yung findings ng doktor na ay anemic to or may hepatitis, ganon. 
Since we all know, kilalang kilala naman din itong medtech bilang best pre-med course. So for me, as time goes by ha, and as a medtech student, wala naman siguro talagang best pre-med course. Well, kung siguro pag nandun ako sa medicine, baka aman ko kung totoo nga ba or hindi. Pero, uh, it depends upon siguro the person. And kung gusto mo naman mag-explore, kunwari, gusto mo mag-nursing, mag-PT, then you proceed to med, why not, ba diba? So, um, enjoy muna and choose what you really want hindi yung base lang dun sa best pre-med course kasi at the end nasa tao yun, okay? Be, dati talaga, kasi pinagpipilian ko medtech and nursing, so nung sabi ko, mag-medtech na lang kasi nasa loob lang ng lab and uh, examine-examine lang dun ng mga, ina-examine nila so yun yung aking basic thought, but it's really more to it Uh, kinoconsider ko na din siya as a profession kasi meron naman tayong masterals para dito sa medical technology. O iisa-isahin ko ngayon sa inyo yung clinical laboratory enumerate lang naman. Hindi ko naman iisa-isahin ko anong mga ginagawa doon, okay? So, baka sa na next vlog na lang kasi super hahaba na yung vlog natin, okay? So, First is hematology, clinical chemistry, clinical microscopy, microbiology, blood bank, and transmission practices, immunology, and serology, and ito, um, histopathology and anatomic pathology. So, meron din tayong special clinical laboratories which are molecular laboratories, guys, which is dun tayo nag-perform ng mga PCR testing. Yun, yun, yun na yung ano, kailangan na um, other training ng medtech. Yung naka-favorite ko, wow, may favorite na, hindi pa nag intern As of now, yung ano, yung blood bank and transmission practices kasi gusto ko talaga mag-examine ng mga dugo and parang seeing um, lot of blood bags, parang nakakatuwa mahilig sa dugo, vampira, hindi naman vampira, parang, ang saya lang, tapos, uh, syempre, di ba, may cross-matching doon, A, B, A, B, A, B, O, positive, O, negative, and so on, and so forth, so, very critical siya, and, yun din daw, yung pinaka-toxic, na, uh, section sa laboratory, sabi ng prof ko, and, so, I don't know, let's see in the future, kung, anong maganda nga, uh, sections of the laboratory, why just medtech, Guys, sinasabi ko sa inyo, super daming job opportunities for medical technologists. Siyempre, iisa-isahin ko din kayo para maingan nyo naman kayo. So, hindi lang siya medtech lang, okay? Sa sobrang dami ginagawa ng medtech, nakakaloka. I don't know how they handle it. Grabe, hindi ko alam kung paano nasa sa ulo, okay? Anong stain yung dapat na ilagay dito sa slide na to? or paano to culture So, moving on sa job opportunities. Okay? So, analytical chemist, alam naman natin yun sa laboratory. Then, so, cytotechnologist, yun yung sa cells. More focus sa cells. And microbiologist, yung my, microbiology siya. Um, nandun yung mga bacteriology, mycology, virology. Dun yung pag culture ka ng mga bacteria. And relate din yung Relate din dito yung bacteriologist mismo. So, may parasitologist din yung mga parasites. Naku, pinag-aaralan namin ngayon yung mga parasites. Gusto kong i-vlog talaga yun. Parang may makikinig naman nun, di ba? Ang dami palang parasites, guys. Nakakaloka. Ayun. So, moving on. Hemotherapist. So, clinical chemistry technologist yung sa clinical chem. Um, toxicologist, blood bank technologist, histologist, yung sa mga tissues, and food and drug inspector. Pwede ka din doon. Um, public health specialist. So, meron tayong course na public health lang mismo, di ba? Yung pag gusto mong ano, mag-reach out or pumunta sa iba't ibang communities, then you're going to study um, the prevalent diseases there. Actually, not study, siguro observe, and then parang health promotion, health education, ganon. So, I, I really like that too. Um, quality control specialist naman yung taga-check ng mga labs. Um, kung nag adhere ba yung uh, certain laboratory na yun sa mga standards, minimum standards and requirements din ha. So, ayun. So, pwede din maging medical uh, equipment, sales representative, 
alam niyo naman yon siguro, pharmaceutical sales representative and medical librarian, pwede din naman um, um, research assistant, so sa mga mahilig mag-research, katulad ko oh my gosh research is nice and but very very challenging very time consuming pero kung hindi niyo naman talaga mag research why not di ba so um another is medical laboratory manager so pwede kang mag uh, manage ng lab mo mismo pero super hirap din daw magtayo ng uh, labor sariling laboratory kasi ang daming papeles na need ang daming kailangang i-satisfy na requirements and um, crime lab analyst so crime lab analyst ay uh, isa sa pinaka gusto ko crime lab analyst ko na na uh, na find out yung forensic science diyan sa DLS UD maganda for me kasi nanonood ako ng Lucifer so si Ella doon grabe parang ang saya pag forensic siya yeah. pero uh, pwedeng ang medical technologist pwedeng maging forensic pathologist pwede magturo ang medical technologist while being a medtech so that's it guys for this vlog i hope you like this video if you do please don't forget to click the thumbs up button below and of course comment down if you have anything to say to me i really respond to all of them it inspires me to keep on vlogging and um i hope i inspire you too and don't forget to um subscribe at my youtube channel be safe and healthy everyone see you next week hopefully i'll be talking about my experiences again as a medtech student bye Thank you.